December 1st. <gasps> it's December. My mood is incredibly brightened because it's December 1st. I don't know why. Something about it, I guess. It's time to do our counting down to the holidays. <gasps> and I'm really excited about that. Welcome, I'm Lisa, also known as Fiber Nymph. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you tuned in, thank you so much for checking it out. Um, I'll just begin by saying I'm not doing Vlogmas per se. I have done it in the past. I'm not doing it this year because I know I can't keep up with recording and uploading every single day. Not in my capabilities this year at all. But as I usually try to do, I'm going to try to put up periodic little check-ins throughout the month, um, especially when I have something exciting to share with you, um, as opposed to just taking you through my day as I do normal stuff, because I don't feel like that's super exciting. But anyway, as you probably already saw, um, I put in a little bit of footage at the beginning of our decorations. Emma and I put all the Christmas decorations up in the house last week. Um, she had taken vacation time last week in addition to being off for Thanksgiving. Um, so we had all week and we just, we cleaned and then we just took our time and got the decorations up. I love my garland, our garland, not just mine, but I love the garland in the house. We started doing that. This is the third year we've done that on the beam that runs through our, the main living area of the house. Yeah, it's just, we don't, that's not about all we do, like just the little stuff around. I'm not doing the outside decorations this year other than the wreaths that I put on our lower shed because you see those as you come into the driveway and then I put wreaths on our gate at the driveway. So that's, that's all I'm going to do outside this year. Nobody else sees anything else anyway. It's just there for us and we're not really outside to see it either. So I'm just not doing it. Anyway. Um, I hope you are enjoying the start to your December. Um, I don't know if, you know, if you decorate for a holiday or just the season or um, whatever works for you. Um, I hope you're starting to enjoy what I always think of as just a really nice cozy time of year. And this year especially, I'm trying to focus on having it be a quiet time of year, especially in my brain. <laughs> um, but I'm just trying to keep it simple. I just want it to be simple and enjoyable. I'm counting down the days until my mom and her husband come up. They are driving up, I believe, on the 20th. The 20th or the 21st. Whatever the Thursday before Christmas is, that's when they're coming up. Cannot wait for them to be here. I miss my mom so much. It's been such a hard year and it's even been a harder year for her because her husband's family has had people sick and dying and then, you know, like, it's just been a year, folks. So this December needs to be kind. <laughs> I'm just saying it. December needs to be kind and the weather needs to get its act together because it doesn't know what it's doing from one day to the next. Today, it's cold enough I have a fire in. Yesterday, it was warm, no fire. I mean, we've had fires and then we go for stretches of weird warm rainy weather. I've had such a hard time getting yarn to dry because we don't always have the pellet stove on downstairs and then it's just cold and damp. It's just been crazy, but whatever. Hopefully mother nature gets her act together soon. <laughs> also got all my Christmas mugs out. Well, our Christmas mugs. I don't know why I have to possess everything, but this is one of my faves. A little snowman. And so I have two advents that I bought this year. I wanted to share them with you because they're really fun. Um, the one I actually haven't opened at all, I'm gonna do that with you. Um, the other one I did sort of show in the, the opening um, video and it's an incense advent. And you know what? I can't even remember how I found it because I did not specifically search incense advent. I think I may have just Googled like ad advent calendars, like unique advent calendars or something. I don't know. So I was looking for something different. Um, I, you know, I make the yarn and fiber ones that I send out to people. And so I don't always, 
I, I haven't bought a yarn one in a while. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to use a yarn one this year. I do have some extras of mine. I could use one, but I'm not going to. I have another sort of plan for that kind of thing. I bought a fiber one, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but I want to show you this incense one. It came in this beautiful red box. It's been sitting on my desk for over a month now, and I've been really good and have not... I opened it just and peeked in to see how things were packaged and then I shut it. So, um, but anyway, here it is. This is what it looks like inside. And this card was actually on the inside of the lid. Um, but that's all of the days. So, and the, the card, um, it's from Symbolry. Symbolry Advent Calendar from Hella Good Incense. Um, and then on the back, it has all of the incenses and what they smell like or what they have in them. Um, but they're not in order. So that's nice. So you, you're not spoiled by what you're going to get each day. But anyway, day one came with a little incense burner. Like, so it's just a little dish. It's super cute. I was surprised with that. Although, you know what, I went back and I looked at their... Instagram page where they describe what's in their thing and it absolutely tells you you're getting an incense count burner and how many cones are in each day. I just didn't pay attention to it. I just saw it. I thought it was cool and I purchased it. Anyway, so then each day is in one of these little envelopes. Really sweet. And then each day has two cones of incense. So it's cone incense and I was so happy Again, had I read the ad completely, I would have known there were two cones in each day, but I didn't. But when I saw that today, I was super happy because Emma and I are opening this together. So I can burn one cone and then she can have the other one to burn later. So I'm very excited. And today's was Happy Holidays. Oh, it was Dream Factory. That Happy Holidays is just on the label. Dream Factory is a lavender blend. And I'll tell you what, there's an undercurrent smell in it. I mean, I can definitely smell the lavender. It says lavender and other floral notes. There is some smell in that undercurrent that reminds me of some sort of men's cologne. Not real strong, like it's not like, you know, Stetson or, you know, like that. But um, yeah, it's good. It's almost maybe like a hint of a patchouli. That could be it. That's a floral, sort of. Anyway, so yeah. That was my incense calendar. And so there's 24 little envelopes for the days. And then day 25 is not wrapped. Wrapped, it's in this little blue bag. But it's a jar um, that has a whole bunch of cones in it. So that's exciting. So we'll get to enjoy that through the whole holiday season, I think. I don't know how many are in there. But um, yeah, so that is my incense advent calendar, which I'm very excited about. And I totally meant to make Emma a tea advent calendar because we've got tons of loose tea. So I was not ordering a tea advent calendar. But I think I may still make one for her, like an abridged one, because she has a tea, um, it's like a travel mug that my mom bought her for her birthday, but it has like a tea strainer in it, so you can make hot tea in this travel mug thing, and she has it at work, and she uses it at work, so I think I'm going to make her like maybe a, I don't know, 18 or 20 day advent. I have to figure out how many days she's working between now. And Christmas and then I'll put one together for not that she couldn't use it after Christmas too but I think I'm gonna do that she didn't have it for December 1st but that's okay anyway my other one is a fiber advent from knit spin farm I have had Joanna's fiber advent I think one other year I don't know how many years she's done it I know she's done it at least one other year because I had it maybe she didn't do one last year I don't I don't know but um, I love Joanna's fiber and when I saw that she was doing them again this year and she posted when the listing was going to go up, I thought absolutely I'm buying that. So I set my little alarm on my phone so that I wouldn't miss it. And so I'm going to open it now and show you. And I love what she did with the box. Like she's got these stickers on there making a little tree. The magic of Christmas never ends. <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's open my box and see what we've got here. This 
is fun. Which this does mean that my combo spin is probably going to be put on hold for the holidays because I want to spin this every day. I don't know that I'll be able to keep up with it, but I want to try. Okay, so here's what it looks like inside. And it's called Bat Vent. <laughs> That's what she calls it. Um, we hope you enjoy Bat Vent 2022. Thank you from Joanna and Bill, her husband. So that's the little card that's on top. And here are all the little baggies with the bat vents in them. So I'm just trying to make sure there's not something else I'm missing that I should see. We're gonna start with day one, which has some fluff sticking to it, which is totally appropriate. So let's open day one. really soft blue that is so pretty now just it I, this doesn't say what it is and I'm thinking maybe the listing said what kind of fiber it was I'm gonna have to look that up and once I look it up I will try to remember to put it down here um, I'll have to look because I can't look on my phone right now because I'm recording on my phone um, Maybe I'll stick the little fluff ball back in there. But yeah, I'm going to spin this on my traveler. <clears throat> I'm still in the midst of plying the second stain of my combo spin. I had to stop because it was killing my back. I don't know why using my sidekick just hurts my back sometimes, especially when I'm plying, when I'm going counterclockwise. And I know I've had that problem before and I've done something to adjust it, but I haven't been able to get it adjusted so that it's not bothering me but whatever so those are my two advents for this year i'm so excited are you opening an advent did you buy a yarny one or a fibery one or some other one i would love to hear you know the other thing i thought i might do and i didn't do it um was you know the little like airplane sized bottles of alcohol every time i go to the state store which frankly is not that often But anytime I go in there, I always think I should just buy a bunch of these and like randomly put them in bags and pull one every day and we could have some sort of fun drink. It would be me drinking it because Bill doesn't really like hard alcohol. He's a beer guy. Um, but I think it would be fun. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Like I'll get 12 of them and they can be the 12 boozes of Christmas or something. Because I always do a 12 beers of Christmas for Bill. I've done that the past couple of years. So we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just sort of rambling. It's These are the kind of things that I start thinking about on December 1st that I probably should have given more thought to prior to December 1st. Um, anyway, yeah. I, I can show you a couple of projects. I didn't really even mean for this to be a regular podcast, fibery podcast. It was just going to be a, hey, it's December. Let's start planning for the holidays. But since I did actually finish something this morning, I'll show it to you. <clears throat> excuse me I finished the um, winter palette pie socks that I was working on I think I did mention these in the last podcast um, these were a pair that I had started because I needed to knit the sample when I brought the colorway out in January and so I had like basically the cuff done of the first one um, and then I picked them back up mm, middle of the month last month and basically these have been my sitting at the dining room table socks for the morning and at dinner time so they're finished and these are going to be a christmas gift for emma um, just my normal 60 stitch stockinette plain stockinette sock um, two by one rib on the cuff um, again this was before i started doing my samples in just two by one rib period i, I like this better because i like two by one rib socks a lot um, anyway, so yay, these are done and I have a knit Christmas gift. Um, I have another thing that I started that I originally started thinking, oh, I could give it to my mom for Christmas, but then I remembered I have a shawl that is just, it's a shawl that I knit several years ago. Actually, I think it was sort of an advent project that I did, um, 
the pattern was an advent oriented pattern to knit through the holidays I don't remember what it was and I didn't bring it out to show you but anyway I've never worn it and I think I might just give it to my mom um, it would be a nice size and it's a DK weight um, if I if I have a picture and I remember I'll try to put it in here um, but I think I'll, I'm gonna give that to her for Christmas because she would get more use out of it than this other thing that I started but I'll show you this one because this is with some of my sunshine and my fluff yarn and this yarns actually in the shop right now um, I had a an accident in this in the studio recently where I was mixing dyes and I accidentally poured two different dye colors into the same jar totally an accident kind of like remember those old commercials for Reese's peanut butter cups where they're like you got chocolate on my peanut butter you got peanut butter on my chocolate mmm you know that kind of thing although this probably isn't quite the same but anyway it ended up that I had a whole jar of dye that was not one color and I'm like what am I gonna do with this and rather than waste it, I decided I'm just gonna dye yarn and put it up as a one of a kind, which was great because the color was really cool. It's a very, it's a purpley leaning red, which I think is fun because this one, the fluff takes on the purple shade you see a little bit more and the red, the sunshine, you get the red a little bit more. But together, held together, they look so pretty. I'm trying to do this without dropping yarn on the floor. So this is what it looks like held together. You can see that fluffy halo. Um, and I decided I was just gonna knit one of my Ryoko shawls. It's my pattern called Ryoko. And actually the picture on the pattern is my mom modeling the first one that I made. So I thought, oh, it'd be really fun for her to have one of her own. Um, but she lives in Florida, so I'm not really sure she would get a ton of use out of something with mohair anyway. Um, but anyway, I started it and I quickly diverged from the written pattern because why wouldn't I? Um, and so it's sort of turning into a design project and I have an idea for how um, it's going to go. Um, and so it's gonna kind of be like a fraternal twin or possibly a cousin, a closely related cousin to the Ryoko, um, but it's different, so anyway. But it's the same in the fact that it's a side to side, it's going to be a side to side shawl. You can use all of your yarn and um, yeah. But anyway, I do have, there's five sets of this in the shop right now and I've made them into Ryoko kits. So you get the two skeins of yarn plus the downloadable pattern comes with it. So, you know, if you're looking for a quick gift to knit for somebody and you like red, which is very holiday-ish, it's a lovely color, color for the holidays, those are in the shop. Um, and this does knit up pretty quickly, even though there's lace throughout it, it's easy lace and it goes really fast. So, you know, pick one up if you would like. Um, there's not a whole lot in the shop right now just because I just did some sales over the Thanksgiving weekend, Small Business Saturday. If you shopped with me, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, and I had free shipping all weekend. And Monday was my gift certificate bonus day. So if you bought a gift certificate and got bonuses, thank you so much for that too. I do that once a year. I've been doing it on Cyber Monday the last few years. So you can watch for that next year. Um, I did send out newsletters about all this stuff. In fact, I think I sent like three or four newsletters out within a week. It was ridiculous because I never send newsletters out like that, but I wanted to make sure everybody knew what was going on. Um, I will probably be sending a newsletter out maybe later this week or early next week, um, letting you guys know that I'm having a huge notions restock. Um, I just got two shipments in yesterday, one from my, my, the normal place that I get like my high, high needles and snips and darning needles, things like that. So those are all going to be restocked. And then I have a new notions place that I got stuff from it. I cannot wait to show you the absolute beautiful little things that I got for the shop. There's scissors and there's some other little things and I will, they'll, they'll all be in a newsletter coming up. But anyway, they're not in the shop yet. Hopefully over the weekend I can get them up. I did, I'm trying to think if there's any other yarn I put up um, since the weekend. 
sugar plum. There's a little bit of sugar plum in the shop. I did do a small batch of that, so that's in there. And I have some other ones that I'm going to be hopefully dyeing over the weekend and getting them up because they are holiday colors. So fingers crossed I get those done. I feel like I am perpetually behind this year. Um, but right now I'm actually trying to get the club yarn out. The club yarn should have shipped out yesterday, but again, with the drying issues that I'm having in the basement, I just couldn't get it. I, nobody wants to receive possibly still damp yarn or fiber. That's not a pretty thing. <laughs> so I figured it was better to just let it dry the whole way than to try to ship it out on time. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, I just, I'm, looking forward to catching up so that I can just kind of enjoy my month of December. Um, and I, like I said, I'm going to do some extra little videos throughout December. I have ideas for things that I want to share with you, um, throughout the month. And so we'll see what I can get done and what I can share with you. Um, hopefully I'll get some extra members content up. That's always my plan throughout every month. So, you can check that out if you're a member. If you'd like to be a member, you can read about that under the video. There should be a little join button and you can just read the option. I mean, there's one option, but anyway. If you are a member, thank you so much for helping to support my channel and making extra videos possible. Um, I do, I, I've said this before, I have plans for the new year and I can't wait to bring them to you. Um, and so that's another thing I'm hoping to work on this year or this month. Um, Lastly, the Mio Mal, um, the make it your own make along that we've been running all year ended yesterday. So if you've been taking part in that and you finished any projects in this last quarter, the October, November quarter, I'm going to leave the finished object submission form open through the weekend. So you'll have through Sunday to submit your finished object form. Um, I'm not going to draw any prize drawing winners until then and then also it's going to take me a while to go through all of the projects from all of the quarters um and make sure that people have um just not make sure but to see who qualifies for the full yarn the full year fiber and dye works component um special skein so those are probably not going to go out until january matter of fact i can guarantee those skeins are not going to go out until january um but i will be getting in touch with people after i'm able to validate all that stuff so that's coming and i'll be putting up information about the upcoming make along that we're going to be doing in 2023 which is such a weird number um <laughs> which is going to be called the stop shooting on yourself or soy make along <laughs> um but that'll be that'll be coming so info will be going up both in the fiber of dyeworks blog and on the ravelry group about that soon um let's see i think that's everything oh the only other thing i can tell you is what i'm wearing I, my really ratty antler cardigan of course because it's morning and i always have this on it's only it's not even 8 30 in the morning bill woke up super early today and couldn't go back to sleep he was in the shower at like 10 to 3 today and I woke up I'm like why are you awake so early I mean he usually wakes up at 3 30 but still why are you in the shower so early he's like I'm old <laughs> I'm like what does that even mean he's like I woke up couldn't go back to sleep I thought I'm just getting up and I'm like okay so meanwhile I'm awake talking to him in the bathroom with the light on I tried to go back to sleep and I'm like nope it's just not happening today. So I have been awake since 10 to 3 a.m. It feels like it should be at least noon. You have those days when you get up way too early and then it feels like it should be so much later. I mean, on the upside, I'm gonna get a lot done today, hopefully, if I don't become comatose before lunch. Oh my gosh, lovely. Anyhow, that has nothing to do with anything that I was talking about. My antler cardigan. And then this is just, um, this is one of my, um, just my generic elongated triangular shawls that I like to make. I'm, oh, look how pretty it looks with the lights behind it. <laughs> um, I made this out of, um, let's see, what was this made out of? Plymouth tweed and some Kathmandu tweed. That's if I remember correctly. 
I think that's what the red and the green were maybe, but the orange was Plymouth Tweed. So yeah, I made this years ago. Um, and I don't wear it a whole lot. And I don't know why, because I really like the colors. They're very fallish. Um, but I just wrapped it around me today and then proceeded to put a fire in the fireplace and then again proceeded to wonder how in the world women of ye olden days who had to cook with fires and have a fire on all the time and they always wore shawls, how they did not catch themselves on fire with their shawls flapping around. Maybe they didn't flap around. Maybe they had them big enough that they could tie them or tuck them in or something. But like, dude, anytime I'm working with the fire or even cooking with a shawl on it, I have an electric stove. Like, I wonder how am I, like, I'm going to catch myself on fire or knock a pan off the, the stove with the shawl. It's dangerous. I don't know how we survived as females back then. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Hey, have a wonderful December 1st and a wonderful start to your December and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye. Love you guys.